Hello. Uh, last time we met was a year ago, and that time we talked a lot about mass adoption and scalability, so we at Core expected that we will spend around one-third of our resources to increasing through output, and two-thirds of our time we will work on basic infrastructure, protocols, and so on. However, the reality exceeded our all our expectations, and uh, to meet scalability demand from our ecosystem, we uh, necessarily uh, went all in into increasing throw output. Still, to my pride, uh, me and my team were able to develop other areas as well. Uh, let me shortly recap how massive user base, mostly from Telegram, joined the on. Uh, right after the previous uh, gateway, the inscription frenzy hit ton, uh, where in just a couple of days, uh, about 10% of all historical transactions were generated. Uh, and well, ton coped with this a uh, lot, but not without issues. Fortunately, we learned a lot from there. And then when next big event, uh, not coin minting, uh, mini up with 20 millions of monthly active users went on chain, we were ready for that. Uh, standing on the shoulders of this giant came the next one, the docs, with 50 millions of month monthly active users. And uh, by the way, they now have more than 6 million of on-chain users, a much higher number than any of the competitors on other blockchains. And they gained this in two weeks, not two years. Uh, then uh, came the autumn, uh, when in short period of time, a lot of projects went on chain. I can mention Hamster with 100 million of monthly active users, but not only them. There were Cats, Catizens, Rabbit, BTC, XMPI, and more and more. Uh, and with combined uh, aggregated user base of a few hundreds millions of monthly active users. Uh, not only mini apps, uh, this year we also got our Tire One uh, stable coin on Ton, and it went huge. We uh, have the highest adoption rate amongst all competitors. We reached one billion just in cup, uh, one billion cup just in five uh, months. Uh, and uh, today we have two millions of active uh, USDT users, uh, and roughly speaking, about 10% of all activity in the network is related to stablecoin transfers. Even more, uh, we continue to be main spot for Telegram on-chain activity. Uh, I mean, ads revenue, stars, uh, nickname trading. Uh, we have booming meme coins and game fire industries. We have carried out a few, uh, a six seasons of open league. Uh, and also conducted a few hackathons that successfully transformed hackers into uh, developers and owners of active uh, services on Ton. Uh, and to keep up with all this growth, we need to constantly improve all layers of Ton ecosystem from base blockchain level to last mile, like uh, DAP uh, interfaces. But before we can improve something, we need to measure it so, and set goals so we know we, where we are and where we are going. Uh, since after NotCoin launching, uh, sharding became an everyday reality, and some processes that previously were asynchronous now become, which previously were uh, instantaneous, now have shown their asynchronous nature, uh, we decided to uh, use operation latencies as our key metric, which we will measure and improve to uh, not lose the user experience on the road to 500 millions of users of Ton. Uh, to have perfectly user experience, uh, we ne need a few perfectly aligned stack, uh, stacked layers. Uh, f first, we need reliable and fast message delivery. So basically, user know when he press the send button, the message will be processed. We need stable block rate. That means that regardless of on what happens on the network, uh, uh, the speed of transaction is predictable. 
uh, we need uh, protocols to optimize their architecture to the architecture on the tone. Uh, we need fast indexes, so user immediately get information on what was registered happened in blockchain. And finally, we need optimistic UX uh, where uh, wallets and dApps show actions which are not yet fully finished but will be finished anyway are already shown as finished uh, and uh, allow users to start the next interaction. Today we have two full and two halves of these points. In particular, delivery rate of messages is above 99.5%, and median time to block is around three seconds, uh, which is somewhere like six times better than it was in the beginning of the year. Uh, we have stable block rate, even under 100 TPS um, uh, load. Uh, we have Sorry, uh, we have quite uh, fast indexes, about uh, 12 seconds uh, average latency, but it can maybe be, uh, make, uh, can be made like four times slower, and we are going to do that. And finally, the major wallets and uh, dApps like Dexes started to up, uh, uh, introduce uh, optimistic uh, patterns, but of course there are a lot of work to do in this direction. Uh, how we achieve all of this? It didn't happen overnight uh, and required a lot of work. You know, somewhere we need to find unoptimized places, somewhere we need to bring architecture of Tone to a new level. Uh, we uh, worked on this steadily, uh, released five major updates uh, with uh, multiple features which allow not to be fast, uh, reliable, uh, and stable. But uh, co not code alone is not enough. It is important how you run this, on which hardware, and which tools do you use for monitoring. Uh, it is not a secret that this year was quite tough for validators, because increased user base of Tone increased also uh, requirements for memory, CPU, network bandwidth, and so on. And we are very grateful to our validators, which responded to this challenge and improved their hardware uh, accordingly, uh, we from our side uh, tried to uh, make uh, validators duty uh, more uh, lighter uh, by releasing MyTone Control tool, which is now have backups, alerts, uh, working, uh, works with all kinds of nominator staking contracts uh, right out of the box, have model uh, architecture. Uh, this year we also activated Slashing, but despite this, uh, more and more Tone coins are participating in securing network. Uh, now our network is secured by more than three billions of dollars uh, of value, and all of that without compromising decentralization. In fact, we became more decentralized than we were a year ago. Uh, another layer which needs to be constantly evolving uh, to meet the uh, requirements from the ecosystem is the API layer. Uh, here in Tone, we have a few very advanced closed source uh, API providers like Tone API and DTON. Uh, but if we want to be, to keep ourselves as truly censorship resistant and uh, permissionless network, we need to have open source, fast, reliable, and uh, uh, developer-friendly API layer. That is why we continue to develop Tone Center, which now has uh, version V3, which is much more performant, uh, has traces, actions, uh, soon will support pending transactions, uh, and all of that on top of uh, one-click scripts to deploy your own uh, endpoint if you need it. And if you don't want to deploy your own endpoint yet, you always can use our extended plans that can meet the requirements of all uh, developers. Last but not least, area of improvement of uh, blockchain uh, performance as a whole is introduction of new technology. Uh, here, this year, we introduced quite 
a lot of them. Uh, somewhere uh, like for smart contract libraries, uh, which were already in the architecture, uh, but uh, they are not used before because there was no tools for that. Uh, other uh, technologies like Mintly jetons or precompiled smart contracts required uh, rethinking of approaches from other blockchains. Finally, we have something like uh, high load wallets and uh, v uh, d uh, wallet v5, which basically is combination of br all bright ideas born in the head of people in our ecosystem and combined in into one uh, mega optimized monsters. But there is one step which cannot be done from our side and which need to be uh, done by you, by developers. Uh, to understand why it is needed, um, let's zoom out. We can consider Bitcoin as first decentralized world ledger. Then came Ethereum as first decentralized world computer. That computer can execute small programs and consequently Y by one. And now we have Ton, which is basically is world decentralized multi-threaded server. Uh, and uh, uh, its server can uh, execute arbitrarily long, uh, arbitrarily long programs and do all of this in parallel. Uh, but if you will write the program for your modern, let's say, Xeon or Threadripper server the same way you are developing program for, let's say, Casio calculator, it will work. But it will work painfully slow because you will lose all the uh, parallel execution power. Ton not only allows you to use this power, but also allows to control uh, uh, the parallel execution. And sharding optimization paradigm is a unique uh, feature of the Ton, not available in other blockchains, which allows developers to give their users not only almost unlimited through output for their protocols, but also uh, to decrease latencies for operations and to provide uh, to developers the best tools and best documentation of how to shard optimize their protocols. Uh, we are working with leading services and protocols in our ecosystem. And you can check result of our work already today on docs.ton.org, where we have a documentation for sharding optimization. Check it and start to improve user experience of your users already today. Uh, yeah. Let's talk a little about stability. Uh, this year, upon rapid growth, we had uh, a few times some uh, accessibility issues. Fortunately, we learned a lot of them, and each time we uh, made the blockchain better. So the last huge event, uh, I mean a minting on 100 of million monthly active user uh, application on the tone, basically, Every centralized service around this minting went off chain, uh, offline, uh, for to, because of too much load. Everything except on blockchain, which continued smooth operation. Uh, maybe you uh, know that um, uh, a few uh, one week ago, uh, XEmpire went on chain on Ton. But if you don't know what is XEmpire, you never uh, notice anything because Ton blockchain. Uh, didn't uh, uh, show any issues during this huge event. Uh, also this year, we uh, improved uh, Molucre production substantially, especially on the heavy load. We decreased number of slow blocks, and now not operators can enjoy months of uh, uh, months of uh, consecutive uh, work of their nodes without any maintenance, which is a huge step forward uh, in comparison to what we have just a year ago. When Ton started, basically we had too few people and too many tasks, and in attempt to make them right away, all teams in the ecosystem, on people in the ecosystem, work it in a very tight collaboration. Basically, we were a single team where Toncore was first and last resort for competence. 
for uh, uh, how to do uh, all of the things. Fortunately, Tom grew up from this baby cradle, uh, and now we have multiple independent teams. For us, for core, that means that we have unique and joyful opportunity to focus on node development uh, and kernel development while leaving other tasks like wallet development, like centralized exchange support, bridging, uh, general uh, network integrity, and so on, to other competent and talented people. Uh, Ton Core, uh, as a team which uh, supported uh, Ton Technologies from 2020, and that basically uh, kick-started our open source community, uh, now become an independent team uh, which is registered in Dubai as Ton Core Technology LLC. Uh, Ton uh, Core continue to develop uh, Node and kernel technologies uh, with support from Swiss Foundation of Swiss Stone Foundation in the form of the grants. This is our uh, commitment to the decentralization and transparency that opens possibility for other teams to find their place in our ecosystem, maybe in the inner parts of that, like uh, developing alternative implementation of the node. Uh, so what are our plans? Well, tomorrow we have a whole section from Tonclaw, which we will we'll tell you our plans. But let me briefly mention the key points from them. We expect that Ton growth will continue, so we continue to focus on increasing the through output. And the main, uh, main step in that direction is uh, releasing the accelerator update. It will allow us to further decrease the cross-chain latency and start to build collateral networks, which in turn will make validator duty much lighter. And once it will be achieved, we are planning to make slashing tighter, so we will uh, further improve the stability on the network. Thank you for your attention.